Hi everyone, welcome to this new video about Emilflow. In today's video, we finally are going to implement a machine learning project using Emilflow. Uh, because during the last videos, we have seen how to use uh, Emilflow, I mean, the different methods that Emilflow offers in a separated way. So in today's video, we are going to see how to actually integrate uh, Emilflow into our machine learning uh, code. Let's say that we are working on a machine learning project and we need to include Emilflow. Well, this video will show you how to do so. This is going to be a demo project utilizing a demo data set, but the idea is to show you um, the, the tool, Emilflow, how, how you can integrate this tool into your projects. I'm going to try to make it as real as possible. So I'm going to start by sharing the screen. And one of the things that I like to do is uh, basically start by creating a virtual environment. A Python uh, so I can just worry about the dependencies that I need. Now let's go to let's activate this, okay, and let's open Visual Studio Code. Okay, this is Visual Studio Code. Here is my virtual environment. The second thing that we have to do is to create a package because, well, when we are working on a machine learning project, we need to distribute our code uh, to different things. Maybe we need to run our code in a cluster or something like that. And when we create the code or when we package the code into a Python package, well, this distribution process is more easy. So let's go and create a package folder package. Uh, let's say um, new folder, yes, called package. And inside this folder, we are going to create a set dot dot a file, right? Set dot tools, import this, right? Now I'm going to define my, my package, something like this. Name, package, yes, version, that one. Uh, description, a useful module. Hmm, I like a useful uh, package, right? And, and we also need um, author, and that would be, for example, my name. Uh, author email, in this case, my email. And um, what else? Uh, we need packages. Um, so in, inside package, we are going to have suit packages, right? And each suit package will be in charge of, let's say, storing the code that we need for every one of the stages of our machine learning project. So for example, we need a feature engineering process, and we need a machine learning training process, right? So we have two sub packages here. I'm going to include that here, like doing something like this, feature and a package.utils. We might need also utils. Uh, yes, package ML training, right? And we also need, yes, this is perfect. We need NumPy, Panda, Scikit-learn, uh, Maplotly, and of course, MLflow. Uh, that looks okay to me. I'm going to develop just a new file here and let's call it something like um, data processing.pi. And here I'm going to just write a dummy function, something like print uh, text, right? Um, from a feature. All right, um, print text. I'm, I'm going to return nothing here. Um, in ML training, I'm going to create something like train, yes, train.pi. And here, something very similar. Uh, 
print something from train. This is only the hello world, right? So, okay, and then here I'm going to create a file called run.pi. Then, from, just to showcase how we can use this package structure from package dot uh, feature uh, import. Uh, let's say um, print something from feature. Yes, it was something like this. Uh, print something from train. I think that it was like that. Print text from feature. Yes, that makes sense. And then, yes, exactly. Um, now let's activate our environment here. Let's install this library which uh, will help us to create the will file that we want. Now let's go to package and let's do python m build. So this command will create a distribution folder in which we can find the will file. So but it takes a little bit of time. So as we can see here, there is a distribution folder which contains this will file. So let's install the package in our virtual environment. CD, CD dist, um, bit install force reinstall. And it's installing all the dependencies that we specified in our set.of file. Okay, it's done. Now let's do pip and list, and we should see our package in our list of dependencies. Uh, so here we have package, which means that we, we can go to run and run this code. It says printed from feature from package feature. Why is not working? So maybe it's because feature, ML training. Um, oh, yes, of course, it's not going to work because it's called data preprocessing. So I need to specify that here. Feature dot data. Yes. And here that would be light train. Now let's run this. And hello from feature and hello from train. Well, that was everything for this video. In the next video, we are going to start to work on the data set that we're going to use to train a machine learning model. Um, we are going to skip the data analysis and data exploration process because the idea is to showcase the ML flow um, tool, and that's more related to MLOps than um, the data analysis process.